Okay. Yo. So, hey. Whoa. Yo. Uh huh. What? Uh huh. I'm backing you up. No. You ruined it. I ruined your good vibe. Yep. Do you want to start over? No. Why? Why are you being a baby already? I don't understand why you can't just be mellow. Why you can't just take it easy. I'm all about taking it easy, buddy. About riding slow and taking it easy. That's right. Huh. Taking it easy. You know, maybe I should do that lifestyle choice. I, I highly recommend it. Scott Pilgrim. Because <laughs> he, he said that. He did? Yeah. Did you watch the movie? No, because Steven Stills says, I, I think I could go for a high school girlfriend. And yeah. Scott said, I'll highly recommend it. <laughs> Yo, Tom, I think you and I should both get high school girlfriends. What do you say? Uh, okay. Sure. <laughs> where where not, do not we... Not exactly very enthused. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, sure, I'll do that. Where, do you know any high schools? Close to me and you uh, both? <laughs> are they supposed to be girls from the same high school? Uh, I would assume so they can chat about us. There is a high school little, literally 30 seconds away from me walking. So it would be very easy for me to find a high school girlfriend. Oh, cool. So that's why you, you probably just like sit outside their window and jerk it. No, no, don't do that. You don't? You uh, jump to a conclusion. You're inferring things that I don't understand how you came up with those things. I don't know. I watch movies. That's what they do in movies. <clears throat> what movies are you watching? Snuff films. You know what? I have had snuff of that. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out. Comedy.com. Check out snufffilms.net. You want to so, see a woman get raped? Snuff films. Go there. So, uh, what's on the agenda this week? Oh, a lot of stuff. You know, this, that, the other. Because you told me that you didn't have any content. Uh, are you ratting out on me? Are you a rat? No, I was just bringing that up that you said you didn't have any content. Just saying, it makes you not a really good Italian because, you know, Italians don't like grass because they're all criminals. Well, you should know there is always the one Italian that is the rat, so I think it makes me a great Italian. Uh, oh, so you, you're proud to be the Ratalian? <laughs> I'm not a Ratalian, and I, I think you just coined a phrase that is going to be very popular <laughs> and could catch on very easily. I am not a Ratalian. <laughs> a Ratalian. I'm not a rat Italian, but I'm just saying that just because I ratted someone out doesn't make me a bad Italian. Guess that's true. Guess that's true. Still, though, I think you're a shitty Italian. I'm I'm gonna write down uh, key parts of the show so I can f for our podcast feed. Have you, do you know we uh, have a podcast feed, Ma Ma Max? Well, how do you know what? How do you know what I want to talk about? If How can you write it out if you don't know what we're going to talk about? Well, because I'm talking about it right now, you bimbo. Right, but how do you know what we're going to talk about? I don't know. That's why I'm going to type it as we go along. Okay, well, that seems like, to me like something that you would do it afterwards so that you could pay attention right now instead of be oh, doing something. Yeah, because you think I want to listen to this again? <laughs> I do sometimes. I do too sometimes. Max, you know we have an iTunes feed RSS XML? That's cute. I made, like, tags for everything. Name. Come on, Max. <laughs> Welcome to my Philly Willy kingdom. Holy shit, Max. What the fuck was that? So, uh, can we get into the content instead of just pussyfooting around? Whoa. I'm not over that. Over what? Come on, Oni. I know that's you in the chat. Stop being a dick. We're not supposed to talk to the chat during the show. I'm sorry, but that's I know that's Oni because I have a very reputable sources. Hey, everyone. Max just blank. What could that be? That could. Uh, I think it's shit. I think everyone. I think they're trying to tell him not, sh not to shit yourself. I just went like forty-five minutes ago. Oh, good. I'm happy for you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna. Sorry, Oni. I like you, but you're 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 being a silly willy. 
Oh, Ben. <clears throat> ben Hammer. Duh, duh, duh. Shouldn't have been a dick. Shouldn't have been a jerk. Because now you got banned. So fuck you. <laughs> nice. Okay, so I, yeah. uh, a little bird told me that you have some content to share with me. Okay, well, let's get into it. I got the Scott Pilgrim game. What do you think of that? I, I think that's a very good, good purchase, and I, I hope you have fun. Bye. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Okay. Well, what do you have so to say you, about the game? So you're not going to let me... No, because you're not going to let me talk about it? Why of are you saying bye? I, I'm sorry. That's just the thing I do. Well, it's not funny, and it's not cute, so don't do it. It's both of them, and you know that. No, it's not. Okay, I'm sorry. So, what do you think about the game? I'm, I'm genuinely interested. Have you gotten it yet? No, cause I don't want to pay for games. <laughs> you get the, you get the demo, and then see if you like it. Yeah, but I need to like move everything to my, cause I don't have the Wi-Fi thing for the Xbox. Okay. Okay, I'll give. This is how I'll break down my review. I'll give you first impressions, second impressions. And third impressions, what but are for graphics? final, imp that will be part of first impressions. But for final oh. impressions, that's gonna have to wait till next week because I have yet to finish the game. Holy shit! That's like a <laughs> cliffhanger, sort of. Okay, so first impressions. The first thing that I noticed about this game was it has retro graphics and retro music, but retro in the sense that it's not. Stylistic, stylistically retro. It is literally retro. See, a game like Castle Crashers is like, it's like a, like you know, it's like a side scroller beat 'em up. But at the same time, you know, it's in HD and it's yeah. it's very crisp and clear. Mm -hmm. Scott Pilgrim isn't like this. It's 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 pixel bit. graphics, yeah. right? What? Well, not eight bit. It's like certainly better looking. Ninety three bit. bit, maybe. Yeah, something like that. And I didn't 60, like that. Maybe. How come? I, I gotta tell you, I didn't like it because if you're going to make a game like Castle Crashers that takes the old school ideals but makes them new then that's that's cool and that can be and that can be visually interesting but if it's going to be if it's going to be a game that looks and sounds like a game that came out 20 years ago like what is this game doing that's uh, like how do I differentiate between this game and a game that came out 20 years ago do you know what i mean uh because it's new and it has Michael Sarah's voice in it and it's cute. It doesn't have it doesn't have Michael Sarah's voice in it. It doesn't have no, any voice acting. It has acting. his spirit in it then. No, it doesn't. It does. There is there is literally I guess except for the online leaderboards. There, there's no online play. This game has no new functionality from from, you know, the innovations in the game industry of the last 20 years. And for that to, for the game to be like that kind of turned me off. But I got over it, and I realized that the game does actually look very cool, and the music is pretty well composed by yeah. Anamanaguchi. No, it's Yamala Hadudi 2. Well, I don't know how to say it, so maybe you're right, but it's I'm pretty sure I, I got closer than you did. No, I don't know. I think it ends with a 2. I think, no. I think <laughs> every Ends with a G. No, 2. Uh, well, okay. I don't know. The game looks fun. Would you rather... Right. Did you hear about the game Slash or Brash or whatever it's called? Crank? Clank? Uh, I played the demo for that and fucked. But anyway, I'm not done with my review. Next uh... is second impressions. My second impression was I like this game and it's kind of cool, but I had a problem with it. And my problem was this. This game penalizes you for playing it alone because the difficulty is made in mm -hmm. mind with, mm -hmm. with you playing it with other people. And that's the, that's the exact problem problem that I had with Castle Crashers. I don't know about you, but I was Castle Crashers. I love even Castle though, Crashers. Even though in the minds of Newgrounds, that might be a little blasphemous. And I know that that game got a hell of a lot of critical acclaim, but for me, I just didn't like it. Why didn't you like it, babe? E? Because it was too hard. It was too hard, and I, I could do nothing but play it by myself. Because I didn't know anybody else who had it. Well, I think you should get some friends. Well, I have some friends, but they don't they weren't playing Castle Crashers and I couldn't get them to play with me and they don't own it. Well, why don't you invite them over? Because I only have one controller. Why don't you buy another controller? Because I don't want to buy another controller to get enjoyment out of a game. A game should 
a game should be fun with multiplayer, but also be fun if you're playing it alone. And a lot of games can do that. Smash Brothers is a game that was made with multiplayer in, in mind, but I can play it by myself and still have just as much fun. But you play an Italian, that's like a downside. What does me being Italian have to do with anything? No, you play as an Italian, so it's not as fun. In Smash Brothers? Yeah. No, there's... no. Why not? Because I, I play as Toon Link, and he's not Italian. He's Italian. Well, I don't like playing as races that are not me. <laughs> but then you don't play any video games ever because there are no video games that have Israeli characters in them well, unless yeah. it's a game that you made. Yeah. Have you ever played Castle Crashers alone? I never played a game. Okay, well, I'm trying to have I a serious I have played uh, no, I haven't actually. <laughs> you ha you haven't played that <laughs> game alone? I have too many friends I, to not. I I barely I, play the Xbox by myself as it is. I just it's I only played with friends pretty much. Right. I played Castle Crashers at my cousin's house once, and I played with all my cousins, and I have like 50 cousins, if yeah, you don't know, because Italian. I'm Italian. Yeah. And it instantly clicked, and I finally got it, and I was like, oh, now I get this game. When you play it with other people, it's fun. Uh, yeah, like most co-op uh, heavy games. Right, but it's but to me, it's like, I feel like they could tweak it so that I could play it alone. Like, you know, if I'm playing a beat 'em up game and there are 50 enemies on screen and I'm one guy, then of course I'm underpowered. But it should be like the less people playing, the less en the less enemies there are. And to me that seems like such a simple fix. Did you like Metal Slug Gear? Uh, I think I've only ever played bits and pieces of that. I, I don't think I've ever owned one of those games and played it seriously. I don't know. I think you just get more friends, to be honest. <laughs> I have... I'll get you a controller then, okay? Stop being a baby. I have four of them. Okay, well, you're not being... That's You can't have four friends. You must have more than four friends. That's no, I said I, I, I have four controllers. Oh. So you buy more controllers? Yeah. I would think that your friends would just use their controllers. My friends don't have Xbox. They're all animals. Well, someone asked this in the chat, and I do feel obliged to answer. Wait, Max. Castle Crashers or Scott Pilgrim, which is better? Uh, Scott Pilgrim by a long shot, because at the end of the day, I just don't like Castle Crashers. Even even if I'm going against the public opinion, i got to say I'm not a fan of Castle Crashers. Then but again, I have to give... You're, no, go ahead. You're anti-Newgrounds, I heard. Yeah, but it's not like... You know, shut up. Sorry. <laughs> okay, this is my third impression. Okay, and this this is this is where the review gets a little radical. So there are there are items in the game that you can buy to buff up your character to increase their stats. And like I had like a hipster cap, yeah. Yeah, like a hipster cap, yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Okay, yeah. go on. So right, and they increased their speed and their strength, and I you know I wasn't partaking partaking in any of that because I assumed. Yeah, well, it might help you a little bit, but usually no, when they do that in video oh, games... Oh, no, no, that's a major let me, part. Let me speak. Usually in video games, when it, they do shit like that, it's like you buy the item, and then the changes that it makes to your character is so incredibly minuscule that you can't even tell the difference. But this game is not one of those games. So I go into the store, and I buy a shitload of items, and I buff up my strength and my speed. Then I walk out of the store, and I instantly feel faster and stronger. And this game that I was complaining about how hard it is is now too easy. This game is too easy. Now. And I I played the third level, right? And the third level was awesome and it was super tough and the boss of that level was awesome and he was like a big tough guy and it's like so hard to beat him and it, I like I felt good when I beat him because I was like, wow, I did something that I didn't think I had the I had the power to do. And then I got to the fourth level and it was too hard and I couldn't do it and I was like how am I going to do this? Then I, you know, like I said, I buffed up my character, and then I just, like, kind of breezed through the fourth level, and the boss was easy. And now it's like the game is broken, because it's like the fourth level, for me, was easier than the third level, and that doesn't make any sense. You, you can't take off items? No. Well, maybe you should have upgraded when you were supposed to, you baby. Someone just you. said Max is boring in the chat. Ban them. 
Come on, Max. Do it. Do it. Max. Do it. Come on, Max. Do it. Give him another chance. Maybe he'll apologize. Do it. No, no second chances. Come on. For five Do minutes, it. though, okay? Nope. Permanent. Come on, Max. Grow up. I don't understand. I don't understand why I am fucking reviewing this game and this asshole cut I'm boring. <laughs> now, no, you know, you know, everyone's gonna gonna be mean to you because they see your weakness, and I'm not gonna ban like everyone on here. I don't have to review video games for you people. I'm doing you a favor. <laughs> okay? Really? Really, yeah. Max? Yes. <laughs> I don't have to do something you never asked me to. <laughs> I know they didn't ask me to, but maybe there are people who are curious. Is this game good or not? Should I get it? And I'm telling you whether or not you should get it. And this is my review. And people get paid a lot of money to do video game reviews on very popular <laughs> websites like IGN and GameSpot. <laughs> people make a whole business out of doing game reviews. And I'm giving you one for free. And yeah, you should be thanking me. And you assholes telling me I'm boring? Fuck you. Yeah, it's like if a comedian Jeez. goes on stage and he, he, he like, he's like not doing well and someone tries to heckle him. And he's like, you know, some people get paid a lot of money to do jokes. So, but it's like if you don't like the comedian, get the fuck out of the comedy club. Don't tell him he's, he's lousy. You don't have to watch that comedian if you don't want to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah. He did invite him. We did invite them here, though. A comedian doesn't invite people usually. Okay. You know what? Are you are you okay, Max? No. What's wrong, baby? Because I was doing a review and then someone was mean and nobody thanked me for my review and I thought it was pretty good review. I learned a lot from your review that I should get and some if... friends. <laughs> Okay. Okay, Max, come on. This is a nope. comedy cast, not a nope. review cast. No. Nope. Well, guys, I'm going to review my, my toaster. I toasted the things today. And it took, like, it it, it, it has it doesn't have that nonstick thing on, so. <sighs> so my, my toast got all stuck up on it. And I was like, man, this, this is not a... No. And then, like, invite friends over to eat with me, but I have no friends. So, yeah, that kind of sucked, I guess. Max. What? Do you want to take a break? Do you want to take a breath? I can breathe just fine, thanks. Are you sure you're sounding like, uh... You're, you're not, you're, you don't sound like you're having fun. Mmm... How did you expect this to go, Max? <laughs> How did I expect what to go? <laughs> How did you expect this whole thing to go, like... This podcast or my video game review? Your whole review, yeah. Yeah, your review. I thought we would talk about it, and then we would go on to something else, and then you would say... Oh. That game, this game doesn't sound like it's the game for me. I won't get it. If you like Castle Crashers, I would suggest getting it. I do like castles. Because they are they are similar. <clears throat> well, they're side to side, so yeah, it's kind of similar. No, 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 it's more than that. They're both side-scrolling beat-em-up games. And you walk from side to side, so yeah, I'm still right, Max. Well, no, because in a lot of games you walk from side to side. In Sonic the Hedgehog you walk from side to side, but that's, that doesn't mean it's a beat-em-up. It's not yeah, the same genre. Yeah, I know, genre. but I like it, so take that. So you just like any game where you walk from side to side? Yeah, you like I'm side easy to please. No, I like side walkers. I like when I can walk. That's okay. I, I don't like racing games because I can't walk from side to side. I can only drive. I think a... you're. Hmm? I think you're just more concerned with being funny than doing a good podcast. But the ironic thing is, you're not very funny. More concerned being funny instead of doing a good podcast. Well, I think that being funny makes the podcast good. Right, but you can't do that. You can't make the podcast good that way. It's not funny. Oh. So maybe you should just try being serious for a fraction of a second. Okay. Is this is the last episode of Weisenheimers. <laughs> I guess so. And I need to go take a break. You know what? I'm sorry.
You're gonna do. Moment. I need to take. I need to take a sip of water because I'm sweating bullets here. <laughs> that is. That is more than a sip. That is much more than a sip. Mike, would you like to apologize for, for breaking my heart right now? No, I'm not apologizing. You're not for apologizing you for that. You started. You always start it. How did I start it? I was. I was trying to. Uh, I'm sorry, Max. I don't believe that game reviews are interesting as podcasts. I'm sorry. Some people make game reviews into podcasts. Well, yeah. This is not called the Game Review Podcast. It's the Weisenheimer's podcast on being a Weisenheimer. Right, but there's no there's no fucking agenda for what this podcast needs to be. I thought me doing a game review would be not only interesting but helpful to the people who are thinking about buying this game and aren't sure if they want to or not. Exactly. So your part of being uh, inf informative, which I thought you were, was good. And it was interesting to whoever wanted to listen to Scott Pilgrim and whoever didn't care listen to my little stupid jokes and they enjoyed that part so everyone wins but you go like no you need to be serious with me you need to talk about the game you haven't played and be serious with me mm. think about that max we talk about scott pilgrim a lot on this podcast well, i think yeah. this is like the unofficial scott pilgrim podcast i think scott pilgrim is tearing us apart i don't think he's tearing us apart i think scott pilgrim is something that's bringing us together in, in a in a bad way no, not in a bad way. <laughs> <laughs> it feels bad. No, I don't. I apologize for that. Scott Pilgrim has given us something to talk about for these past few weeks. He also gave us a lot of tears and, and struggles along the way. What tears and struggles have we? Well, had? you just really hurt me, Max. That no, was I didn't. Really now mean. you're being. Now you're trying to be funny. No, again, no, 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 no. You hurt me. You said I'm. I'm not funny, and it hurt me. And you said I, I can make a funny podcast because I'm because I'm not a funny man. What you don't realize? Uh, he's a robot again, so I don't care. I said that. I don't take. I don't, maybe... case, I don't take criticism by robot butts. So. It's. I'm not a robot. It's. I was doing. It was. I was doing a roast. It was for comedy of you. Oh. I, was ro I was roasting you. Oh well, that was a very. I guess you just. Roast. I guess you just didn't understand because maybe you just don't know a lot about comedy. So. I thought that roasts are like when you take a, a virgin and burn her in flames and put her up to the gods. <laughs> That's what they did with uh, right? <laughs> and you Hefner. <laughs> and uh, what was his name? The other one uh, was just on. Uh, what's his name? David Hasselhoff. <sighs> you know what? Maybe I'm just in a bad mood today because I got a food coma. I think you're in a bad mood because you're a bit of a bitch. <laughs> Jeez. I think you need a high school. I think you do. I recommend it. Well, you don't have one yet, but once you do, maybe you will. I'm offended, Kim. Hurt, Kim. I don't care. I'm Kim. I'm never happy. My eyes are always halfway shut, so yeah. I think we should continue to to do readings of that on the after show. <laughs> yeah, you think this is I'm about to put up uh, part two tomorrow on my YouTube page. Go check it out. The live reading of Scott Pilgrim. Where? It's not live anymore because it's pre-recorded. It's on my YouTube. Uh, YouTube.com slash Max Gilardi. G I L R I A D, right? Close enough, but not really. G I L R D, right? That's the thing. And go there and watch me act out as everyone besides Scott and the other guy. Uh, well, he's every character except for the most important character, and that's me. Yeah, because you like being the middle of attention. <laughs> the middle of attention. <laughs> Yep. I would have phrased it differently because I'm an American and I speak the American language, but uh, I guess you... No, I think it was pretty good. I think that the center and middle is about the same thing. It's the same word, basically. It's a, ho it's a synonym. You heard of the show uh, Malcolm in the Center? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's my, my favorite show. Yeah, it's one of my favorite shows. I like that show because it's, uh, yeah, it's like me and my brother. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. And my mom's mean.
So, what? Someone unfollowed me on Twitter. Who did that? Who unf? I hate it when someone I just unfollows me for no reason. How do you know? How do you know that because someone did? I remember that I had a thousand and ten followers, and now there's a thousand and nine. <laughs> oh jeez. What's up with well, you that? You know what? You still have you have more than me. I only have like seven hundred. Yeah. So you're beating me by a little bit. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> you actually wrote, watch me get nude on cam. Well, yeah, <laughs> I, I thought, you see, it's getting so many 51 viewers, that's... Yeah, that's really what we good. usually have. Yep, pretty it's, much. It's funny, because 50 was our cap for how many that we, uh, we can't get yeah, more like, than that. we thought we could get so many more. Like, our berry is just holding us, but once it was off, it's just like, 52 viewers, no 49. Didn't you say that you had 200 once? Unstick him. Uh, yeah. Why can't you do that again? Because Stickem is apparently only allowed for teenage girls. Teenage teenage girls want to see you. I highly recommend. <laughs> and then, <laughs> yeah. It's not. What he's, <clears throat> it's not what he's like. Yeah. So you you told me you have another thing in store. Not really. Not that I can remember. What do you want to talk about? No, you told me you have uh, Max Gilardi's Facebook hilarious friends on Facebook. Oh, I don't. I don't know if I want to talk about that. I might. Mean, I we can if you want. Ah, oh, don't be a baby. Be mean. No one's listening to this anymore. I want to be mean. I'm like thinking. I got my karma downloads. to think about. Got my karma to think of. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Okay, I, you, I forgot about karma. You want me to read you something that somebody posted on my Facebook? Yeah, I'll look for some as well. Okay. It, okay. If you post, if you are a friend of me on Facebook and you posted something to me, then you had better be sweating in your pants right now because I'm about to read something and it may be what you wrote. You just said. So what do you think of, of that? You just said friend of me. No. I said, well, whatever. Does it matter? Okay. I don't recall saying that. I don't even think that think that what I said. But even if I <clears throat> was, okay, I'm gonna matter. I'm gonna make an edit here. It's still grammatically correct. There's an edit here now that shows that you did say that, friends of me. Who okay. care? Why do you have to derail the show? Sorry, they call me petty. I don't get it. There's a singer called Tom Petty, right? Yeah, singer called Tom Petty? Yeah. I've never heard of it. Okay. Continue explaining. So, so yeah, I'm Petty. Tom Petty. You get it? No. Okay, let's move on. No, I want I want this horrible stretch of a joke. Sorry, you didn't understand it, so I don't have a way to explain it. You just didn't get it. Who who is Tom Petty, and what does he have to do with me saying the phrase? <laughs> Why do you always have to derail this show? I said I'm being petty. You know what being petty is, Max? Yeah. I was being. But you petty. said you were. Oh, you said I was Tom Petty. No, I'm Tom Petty. Okay, I don't, I don't even think that that's a real person. Okay, the show's name is Who's Tom Petty? <laughs> Who's Tom Petty? Matt, uh, let's see, for now we have Retalian, Scott Pilgrim Game Everybody Review. Everybody in the chat is just Max talking about how much they hate me now. hurts Yo Tom very badly. Okay, uh, next show note, Facebook. I'm so, not going to do the show. So. I don't, I don't come on a, a bunch of thankful ingrates so max facebook is his social network huh? facebook some this this is what a guy wrote on my facebook are you ready for this mm -hmm. he said hey max i reviewed a couple of your of your episodes of wgjfk on newgrounds that's wacky game jokes for kids under the name jfig111 I can't say I love the show, but I love the characters, and I wrote up some scripts for future episodes that might crack <laughs> that might crack you smile if you're interested. I send love me a it. shout, and oh, oh, send me a shout, and hopefully we could collaborate. Oh, I love when people offer scripts. You know what? To me, that's like he, so he doesn't like the show, but to me, that's like the equivalent of me writing a letter to Seth MacFarlane and saying, yeah. "Hey, I don't like Family Guy." Uh, do you want me to write it for you so it'll be good? Yeah. You know, I don't get Seinfeld because they complain a lot. Can I make an episode where they go to Spain and have an adventure? You guys just want me to make the show for you because... <laughs> yeah, I like when people do that. Uh, 
I think this kid has somewhat of an ego. I think he'd be helpful, but I think how that wouldn't make sense. Yeah. People are silly, you know? Yeah, I don't I I think that probably wacky game jokes uh just went over his head a little bit if he doesn't like it. Yeah, probably. That's that's probably. my official stance. If you don't like wacky game jokes, it's because it's it went over your head. And I am going to stick to that story. Like the only reason you wouldn't like wacky game jokes for kids is because you're dumb, basically. That's right. That's right. And some people might not have the 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 bees to say that, but I have the bees, so I'm saying it. The bees. The balls. I was try I was oh. trying to not be vulgar, so I was abbreviating. Oh, whew. I thought you meant something else. What, like honeybees? Yeah, I thought maybe you had a lot of bees, and I don't like hanging out with beekeepers. Yep. I got beekeepers, because that happened last time I started, I, I tried to make a podcast, but got sticky. Because of the honey from the bees. <laughs> oh man, he turned into a robot as my joke went on. Come on, that was my best joke so far. Oh well. What did you say about it? Did you like it? Did I like what? My my joke. I didn't hear your joke. What was your joke? <clears throat> I'll repeat it again because I think it's worth again. So All right. my I don't do podcasts with beekeepers. Cause... Oh, I heard that. Oh, yeah. So, do you like it? I said only one. It depends on what kind of bee they are because only one kind of bee makes honey. The honey making bee. The honey bee. Is it funny now? No. Oh. Okay, well, I tried. At least uh, I, I heard to make jokes around here and not just, uh. I do jokes too. Next episode, we're gonna do bee reviews. Uh, each, of, each of us are gonna review some bees. I'll go with the uh, with the honey bee, and yeah, okay. I don't I don't know what bee you could re review besides <laughs> the honey bee. Uh, well, you told me there are a few different types of bees. There are, I think, a lot of kinds of bees, but only one kind makes honey. And if you're not going to review a bee on its honey making abilities, I'm not quite sure what you would review it on. On its pattern. Its sting. Its overall. The patterns like, are. The way. It well, you know acts. what. The you know what the pattern is? Yeah. What is it? Black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, etc. Well, s sorry to <laughs> burst your bee bubble. I just went on Wikipedia no. and I got a picture of a bee. It's blue. <laughs> a blue bee? A blue bee. You know what my favorite kind of bee is? A BJ. A booby. <laughs> uh, we went towards the same. Dope. Both did like horribly. PJ. <laughs> okay. 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 You know what? Yeah, and we're back, guys. Bees, uh -oh. burps, pilgrims. We got it all. <laughs> Let's go. What? What's our next topic, Max? Facebook? What dumbs? I don't know. I can. Two topics. You come up with the next one. Okay. Next topic is. I'm looking around. Do you, do you ever use Windex? <laughs> no. How come? It's a woman, that's a woman's job. That's true. Are you are you a misogynistic? Mm? Am I a mis misogynistic? Yeah. Are you that? <laughs> yeah. Sure. I love to give massages to sexy women. Are you are you a, a, a chauvinist? Uh, <laughs> misogynistic. <laughs> are you? Max. What? Do, do you think that men are above women? Uh, no, I don't think that. Do you? I don't know. I kind of, I kind of think that. Yeah, I guess you do. You'll never, never know what I think. No, no. Uh, but no, I don't. I don't think that. I just think men and women are. And I guess this might be a radical. This might be a radical opinion in an in and of itself. But I think they're different and they're good at different things. Like people, men are good at lifting heavy stuff, and women are good at knitting my dick. Knitting your dick? I got confused. I got confused. I'm sorry. I just think that there are a lot of feminists out there who are trying to propagate the deal that men and women are identical, and that they have the same kinds of kind of. Uh, 
this, like they have the same kind. Of, you know what? This is just this is stupid. Let's talk well, about something well, else. Well, we both have eyes, right? Men and women. Nope, we, women don't have eyes. That's we, a common misconception. Oh shit! Really? So what is that? More vaginas? Carl is back, and I think you should ban him again. You missed my joke. You fat, blank, neckbeard, you live with your parents and you're 22, go blank yourself. Yeah, I think you should probably ban him. Carl, you're being a meanie. That's, Jeez, that's, meanie. that's probably Spaz Kid trying to call me out. Yeah. Spaz Kid has been spamming my website. Did you know? What? How come? I don't, I don't really even understand what he's trying to prove to me or the point that he's trying to make I don't know because to me to me the only thing that he's successfully proven is that he has too much spare time uh, I do like the animator too much spare time I do like that animator yeah he's good um as kid also got banned from DeviantArt oh my god how come no. did he flame I'm furries sure. I'm not sure probably something like that well they deserve it cuz they're weird so Spaz Kid, if you're listening, come on, you got you got too much you got too much free time. You got to get a hobby. Come on, Spaz Kid, you can join us. We'll we'll have fun with you. We'll hang out, right? No, 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 you're not allowed to join us. No, you can join us. You can be the we. You can do the corner of uh, how to troll and be a dick. How to train your dragon. Oh my God, that movie is so cute. Did you see Toothless? He has no tooth, but he's he's a dragon. Oh my god, did you see how the main character looks like Jim from The Office? Oh my god, his face when he... Oh, mwah. <laughs> oh, mwah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. I don't see why people like that movie. That movie was annoying and it yeah, was dumb. Yeah, I thought that movie was pretty f lame too. It was just so formulaic. Yeah, it was like... And then... And then... Right? I thought the last ten minutes was kind of cool, because then in the last ten minutes there was like this one dragon that was really huge, but... Other than that, I thought it was a pretty lame movie. I like that he lost his leg. That's like the only thing I liked about the movie. Oh yeah, the main character lost his leg. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, that's like the only thing I liked. That someone suffers. Yeah, I thought that was kind of cool too because I thought that's pretty gutsy to have a main character lose their leg like that. That's interesting storytelling. Yeah, but other than that, it was shitty. Yeah, lousy movie. Sorry, lousy movie. Everyone who likes it is dumb and probably shouldn't shouldn't like it, and they probably don't even like wacky game jokes for kids because they're not smart, right? I get. I I'm not gonna say that, but he already said it, so I'm not gonna disagree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just ruined it for me, or Tom? I don't care. It came out a fucking year ago. Shut up. Stop also, How to Train Your Dragons. All the adults have accents, but none of the kids do. So you explain that to me, because frankly, I don't get it. Because generations change. Yeah, if the generations go to another country and the other country people are speaking a different language, but if you are raised by your parents in a village that's very small and secluded, that you, then you are going to speak like them. Huh. That's true. When I didn't think of that. <laughs> yeah. But uh, TBH, I wouldn't hurt a dragon because I like, I like animals. Yeah, I think I would be friends with a dragon. I'd chill with a dragon. Especially if he's voiced by Sean Connery. Oh. Oh. He just gave me shivers. <laughs> okay, though. That's. Okay, now you're gaining it up, so. Oh. <sighs> so, my dad moved in. I have two cats in my house now. Uh oh. They're both named Bolnik, and they're both females, and they're both black. Uh-oh. Better be careful that they don't cross your path. Uh, yeah, I just spit on them whenever I see them. Are you serious? No. Okay, good. <laughs> I have cats, so I spit on them. What? You got a problem with that? Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. So, how are, you, how are you adjusting to the new life? Oh, it's really hard. Now my mom's not here. Do you miss her? No, not, not yet. Oh, wow. It's only been a few days. So yeah, I can be away from her. I'm not, like, tied to her titters or something. <laughs> okay. 
The umbilical has been cut, is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I try to say. But yeah, I'll see her eventually one day. She's on her deathbed. Just kidding, Mom. I love you, Mom. She you do listens. That smooch a lot. Oh, do you have a problem with that? It's a little. It's a little weird for a guy. Oh, so if I was a girl, it'd be fine to smooch around. Strikes me as something feminine. So. I. You strike me as someone that's racist. So yeah. I don't see what this has to do with racist. Your race is against my kisses. I don't think your kisses are a race of anything. Well, you haven't met them. They're a strong army. I'm the sergeant and... An army of kisses. And your cheek that's is his that's destination. That's oddly poetic. Your... Well, I hope that's not true. <laughs> how's, your, how's, your, how's Yoko going to feel about that one? Uh, she's going to be really jealous. Because she wishes. That's right. She wishes she was you, basically. Why? Why would she wish that she was me? Because I hang out with you a lot more than I do with her. I just like punch her and throw her off to the bay. Oh wow! Yeah. That's no good. Well, I'm a bad guy. You're a bad boyfriend. A bad bee, bad bee. <laughs> but you know, I gotta be what I gotta be. Bad B. You hear that, ladies? Mm -hmm. Girls like that. Okay, you be a girl, I'll be a guy. Okay, go. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> no. Oh, hey, come on. No, we're not playing that game. Please. Please. I don't want to play any game where you be a girl and I'll be a guy. Okay, just you be a guy and I'll be a girl. No, I don't want to play that game either. Okay, you be a bee, I'll be a, a, a beekeeper. <laughs> yeah, give me your honey, yeah. Nope, it's mine, and if you try to take it, I'll sting you. Oh, Even though that will mean that I will die. Yeah, too bad I I'm, I'm already got fog on you, and now you're falling all over because you're a dumb bee. I'm a newbie that isn't pretty fog. Oh, really? Well, I better run because you probably have disease and stuff. Maybe. Okay. Plus, can you, you can... could be allergic to bees, oh. and in which case it is very deadly. I don't think I would choose my, my profession as a beekeeper if I was allergic to bees. Do you know if you're allergic to bees or not? No, but I'm allergic to D's knees. My knees, they're sexy. Okay, so, so when are we doing the thing where, where I'm a guy and you're a girl? We're not doing that. Why are we not doing that? Because I, I don't want to play that game. Think of th if you want some content for this podcast, think up something else. But I like improvising! Okay, we can improvise okay. something else. And I'm sure it won't be funny, but we we can do it. Okay, you, um, I'm selling, uh, to tell, um, I don't know. Oh, boy. I'm, you, you just turned me down like a, like a lightsaber. You, just like that. Okay. No, I'm not having fun anymore. Don't wanna be an American idiot. But in a man in a man in a man. In a man. <laughs> yeah. I don't like that song, but it does get stuck in your head. Yeah. So maybe it's maybe it's a good song, I don't know. You know what other song gets in your head? What? Do you know the anime? The anime? Do you love the anime? I don't think I'm familiar with that song. It's also by the 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 Greenheads. Oh, I don't think I've heard that one, and <laughs> and I think I might be glad I haven't heard that one. Well, it's gonna be stuck in your head now forever. <laughs> no, not from what you just did. Don't know the anime, the anime, the anime, the anime. Yeah. You know the an anime or enemy? Enemy. Oh, that's like that song. Enemy inside of me, enemy inside of me. And I always used to think that it sounded like they were saying anime inside of me. Never heard of that song, so now. I don't even remember who does it, so. So. And I don't, I don't even know what it's called. Probably enemy inside of me, but. Yeah. I haven't heard that song yeah. since high school. So. Let's let's talk about the nineties. One of those good times. It was just a wee little boy. You were like thirty-two. No. <laughs> nope. Remember when the Nintendo DS came out? Wasn't that a thrill? I don't think that was in the 90s. I would have to say that was probably in the 2000s. Hmm, okay. Actually, you know, 
I've never been a really big music. And yeah, I, I and the other day, like the other day I was thinking, and I think I figured out why. Because you don't like praising men. Because no, crazy men. What praising? Praising men or women? Oh, I'll pr I'll praise anybody all day all all day long. I'll do some praising. But what I was gonna say was, this I think this is why I am not big into music. What is the official age that you are at when you get into music? Always. And the answer is, and this is not a subjective answer. This is true for everybody. Sixth grade. For everybody, it's the same. Sixth grade is when you become aware of the music scene, and that's when you draw. You know, you get the goth kids. They go over and they're like, "I'm going to listen to this music." And you get the metalheads. They go over and they say, "I want to listen to this music." Well, and Max, for whatever reason, I don't know, because I've seen a video on YouTube of a baby dancing. So I don't know if if that's correct. I think that's, that's kinda... probably just because that's that baby didn't choose to listen to Beyonce. Her parents probably just put it on. You don't know that maybe the baby really likes her her uh, choreography. I don't even know why I try to be interesting and come up with content because. Okay, I'm sorry. Well, I understand. Do you like, what are you talking about? So, you, so you don't like music because do you think it turns people like into different cliques and leave the? No, it has nothing to do with that. That's not what I was going to say. So, so you were saying that you don't like music because the, you decide where you go and then you're stuck there forever. That's not what I was going to say either. So you meant that you don't like music because people like different things and you want everyone to like you. That's not what I was going to say. You don't like music because every time at the prom where you wanted to, to, to dance with a girl, there was a slow dancing song and then you were like too close up to her and you, your, your penis got f too filled with blood and you got all embarrassed. I didn't go to prom in sixth grade. Oh, really? No. Okay. There's no sixth grade prom. Hmm. Uh, maybe pff, because music uh, is the people that we choose. It's, uh, yeah? <laughs> well, I don't know what you just said. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's not what I was thinking, so no. Okay, so what do... You know, you could have just let me continue talking and let me finish my thought in this comp. You would have known, oh. like, minutes ago. Oh, I and we would have been to something different. You didn't let me know that that's usually you just go like, No, I don't want to talk about it anymore. And then you pout. <laughs> Jeez. So what, why, is, why is it? The problem was, if, you know, like I said, sixth grade is the official age for when you get into music. When I was in sixth grade, my generation, when we were in sixth grade, just happened to coincide with a really what you know what I consider to be a shitty age of music because I remember when I was in sixth grade for the first time in my life I would go into school and hear other kids talking about music and I was like oh so that you know this is it now this is happening and the other, and the other kids were talking about the other kids were talking about Limp Biscuit and I was like okay you know what keep rolling 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 I, I don't know what Limp Biscuit is, but I don't even want to listen to something called Limp Biscuit. So fuck it, I'm not I, I'm not doing this. I'm not going to be that guy, and that's why I'm not into music. If I had been born maybe five years earlier or five years later, I'd probably be a, a music fan right now. So there you go. Uh, that was the that was the point I was trying to make. Well, I don't see why you hate Limp Biscuit because. You need they're, to get, get up to a shit right gay. here. Dun, 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 sweep, get right here. Put your hands up in the air, because if you don't care, then we don't... You know? Okay. But you know, when you're in the sixth grade, you only like the music that has the most cursing in it. That's also true, yeah. yeah it's like, so shut the fuck up! That was my That's why impression. when a lot of people, by the time they're out of they don't like the kind of music that they originally liked. A lot oh, of people of make a, a, meta, a metamorphosis when they start to realize what the truly good music is. Although I did get into Blink-182 when I was in like 6th grade, but I still love them. I'm sorry. Oh yeah? Yeah. But that's because I'm a retarded human being. <laughs> so you, you acknowledge that they're bad? <laughs> yeah, but I love them. I don't know, I really don't have any opinion on them. I'm not going to tell you they're good, I'm not going to tell you they're bad. I'm just apathetic about them. 
So you tell me, America. Yeah, America, let him know. Call him, uh, what's your, what's your number? Not telling my number oh. on the podcast. Whoa, so, Being a- did you see Spaz Kids, uh, <laughs> Wicked Game Jokes for Kids comic? Nope. What's it about? I'm sending it to you, we'll read it together. Hang on, is this it? Is this the link in the... Uh, is it a Newgrounds link? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> you do hey, I can do the, I can actually do the yeah, voices. So, <laughs> oh wow, this is long. Yeah, do it. Okay. <clears throat> I wait. Hang on, I gotta scroll down to see the whole thing. No, 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 no. Okay. Just okay. Like... No, I just wanted to see the whole thing and popped up. Okay. I personally find this game to be gay and of the faggot nature. That that Holy line. Fuck. Wait, wait. Let's let's analyze each frame. That one, that line seems pretty sincere. That's like something he would say. Mickey would say. Right? I um, wait. Let me think about it. I personally find this game to be gay and of the fag- and of the faggot nature. Yeah, I, I yeah. think Mickey could say that. Yeah, that's not a bad one. Holy fuck! Get your sh- shit together, Nintendo. That is something that Mickey said. So. Okay. Shut up, gay retard baby. And then they're having sex. Oh, see, now this is where it officially. <laughs> this is where it officially goes into territory where this would not happen because Mickey would never have sex with June. Yeah, so Mickey is having sex with June, and Eric is filming it in the background, going, "Oh, this shit is fucking hot." Then there's yeah, no, a no, no, door. No. Is Please that... do Eric's voice. Right. Oh, the shirt is fucking hot. Oh, I oh. always forget how to do Eric. That yeah, isn't really what he sounds close enough. Then is that supposed to be a doorway, or is that like a photograph of the no, boss? No, it's like a door. I'm pretty sure he's like, yeah, that's a door. And then it's the same panel twice in a row, which I don't really understand yeah, why I, that I, is. I don't see the reason. And then the boss says, Mickey! Wait, that's not how the boss sounds. How does the boss sound? I forget. I don't know, like bossy. <laughs> Mickey! There yeah. we go, that's the boss. And then there's, that's me, that's and I'm you. fapping. Yeah, and you have a poster of a naked lady for some reason in the bikini. Yeah, and then I say, Mom, I'm limp, and then it says, I'm sorry, honey, I'm busy making you din, love you too, whatever, you stupid whore, I'm removing you (laughs) from my potential girlfriend's list on my website. I forgot I need to make a YouTube update, (laughs) douchebag. That's pretty funny, I'm sorry. I let me tell you, those glasses have served me well over the years. I wish people would fucking make something like that for me, I mean... He actually put, like, a fair amount of effort in the drawing. It's like it's not like they're horrible. He shaded them. Right, but it's like I said earlier, I don't understand <laughs> why, like, th- you know, that's what I said about, like, me thinking that he just has too much spare time. Because it's like, he, like, he obviously put a lot of effort and yeah, time yeah, into that. Yeah, he has but it's, a lot of spare time, but still, I wouldn't Right, mind. but it's like, I... I am as much a critic as this guy is, maybe probably even more so. And I hate things like Control Alt Delete, the webcomic that I'm sure you're aware of. I hate yeah. that webcomic. But I'm not making cartoons about how much that webcomic sucks because I'm I'm busy making my own cartoons. And I don't know. Yeah, yeah he should I just, probably this do guy like is something for a himself. Path- I think for him to spend time on that is a little pathetic. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I mean, one animation should be enough. <laughs> this guy, like, for him to still be doing this is like. Well, well but he's he's like, is what, getting the attention he wants. Yeah, come on. What what are you doing? I wouldn't mind. I wish he did one of me. Do one of me. Do me next, basket, please. Do like, chocolate lady sucking my dick. You know what? I think to get. I think to get those kind of haters yeah, and to get the people avidly. Them. Who who are like avid, avidly passionate about how much they hate your stuff? I think that's like a sign of you doing something right. Do you know what I mean? No, I don't see how that's good. Because I would rather have people who love my stuff and then people who hate my stuff, as opposed to people who like my stuff and everyone else just not caring. To me, oh, you know yeah. what? This is what it, yeah. this is what it boils down to. To me, for him to hate my stuff this much is a sign of the fact that my stuff got him thinking. And that's really the whole point of what I do, is I want to make stuff that kind of gets people thinking. Not to get, not to say that my stuff is like some kind of, it, you know, it's not like Shakespeare or anything, but... No, you're I don't not know. Shakespeare, no. 
Right, because I'm better. Because Shakespeare sucks. Yeah, he was dumb. Like, I mean, why would someone just kill themselves over a stupid girl? Dummy. I don't. I don't like. I think Shakespeare's really kind of overrated. I'm not a fan. I prefer Dickens. Well, he made up words, so you know, he can get some props. Shakespeare back. wrote. Shakespeare wrote um like soap operas. It was just like. You know. Yeah. It was. Yeah. It was like the equivalent of of. You know, the, what actually transpires in the stories is, to me is like the equivalent of a soap opera. It's just, I think they're very acclaimed because of the cumbersome way in which they're phrased and, and the way that they're written in kind of old world form. I don't know. Are you a fan of Shakespeare? No. I never read any of his stuff, though, so I don't care. Really? They make you, they, usually they make you in school. I don't know how. Uh, no, his, in his English, system in is English class, we had to read. Well, in Hebrew, like, we had to read books by Israeli authors. Mm. And in English, we I've read, read All Our Sons. I've read Othello. I read Hamlet. I think I read Romeo and Juliet. I don't know. It's not for me. It's not my thing. Emails! <laughs> oh, wow. This is from Aguirre of Tadio. <laughs> Someone wrote in the chat, I prefer Captain Underpants. Yeah, you know what? As far as I'm concerned, better than Shakespeare. This yo boy, when we gone back together and formed the rabbis of the underground. I mean, we made money on our album, Muzzle Tov Drive-By. Oh, Muzzle Tov Drive-By. Come on, get your Jewish pimpin ass in Hollywood. We'll smoke some crack with Matt Siahu. And do drive by with Max Gillard, Ian Gandhi, and Justin Bieber. That's really funny. Okay, so next email. Next email. Here's a cat I made a while back. I don't care about your pictures of your cats. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Neil. What is it? Just a drawing of a cat? I think so. I didn't open it. You know what? I will open it. Let's see what it is. <clears throat> Neil. Yeah. I like. In the sky, see how they slide. Um, in, yeah, in the likely event of skeletons everywhere, how spooked do you estimate you'd be? I mean, oh. keep in mind that they say only want to socialize, but I don't think we should. <laughs> so uh, this is like a parody of the stupid zombie question that you no, hear no, no, every day. No, 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 that's a reference to a song to uh, spooky, scary skeletons. Oh, I love that cartoon thing. Don't you get it? Uh, well, no. The, ac the, the actual song, like before that, then they only want to socialize, but I don't think we should. Spooky, scary skeletons. So yeah, the <laughs> cat is just a cat, and his tail is wagging, and it has nothing to do with us. Let's move on. I liked your question. I would be pretty freaked out, because skeletons are weird. Hey, speaking of... I guess I guess since I was doing my podcast and I was talking about f my Facebook friends, a bunch of people just posted stuff on my wall. Oh boy. Shall I read it? Sure. Okay, these these are Max Gilardi's hilarious Facebook friends. These are the funny These are the funny people that I get comments from every day. I am posting this now because you are on podcast. <laughs> you are you on don't... podcast. You don't know me, but read this now. Max, you have to read this out in a Horatio Crane voice. It seems that the killer had urine and semen on his corpse. I guess the killer came and went. Seriously, read it. So check it out, Facebook.com. It's all the best comedy, all the funniest jokes. You're going to love it. Your friends are going to be so sweet to you. They're going to tell you nice things, going to give you the best jokes. They're going to give you, the comments are going to be so funny, you're going to be laughing butts off. You can go to the joke of the day dot com, get the funniest right. joke of the day. Mm -hmm. Hello, you're Tom and Max, specifically directed towards Max. I would like to point out that there are very important differences between university and college. First and foremost, it depends on which country you live in. In the U.S., the terms are synonymous. Other countries use college to refer to some secondary schools, but university is always used to mean an institution of tertiary education and higher learning. Universities are usually larger and often contain a multiple colleges within them. However, some exceptions do exist. Australia and Canada, for example, have the same... So you're wrong. 
surprise. You know for what? Me. I d I didn't know that. So and I, I'll you know. I'll give you the I'll give you credit. You knew something that I didn't know, and I was wrong. Okay, so, so tell that to uh, Christian Kirk by. I am telling it to Christian. Who do you think I'm talking to? Uh, I just wanted to say her name. Okay, this is from Mackenzie okay. Aubrey. Oh. Dear Max and your Tom, both of you are talented. That goes without saying as well. Of the, I just of... got six friend requests. I've mm -hmm. never gotten that many at once before. Really? I had like 20 waiting for me because I never went on that side. Yeah, but, but it's just weird that I got... One of them is named Katie Honeybee Scott. Uh, oh, man, I'm going to sneeze. Oh, boy, Max. I'm trying to read emails, but you're... Just... <laughs> oh. Bless you. But you're distracted by Facebook. Come on. No, but it's just I because I guess because I was talking about Facebook on the podcast. I um, again, really someone just poked me. <laughs> Can I move on? <laughs> okay, keep going. Both of you are talented. That goes without saying. As well, both of you have the capacity to engage good humor. Thanks. Max doesn't think so, but thank you. Understand that no, this podcast. No, I think you're funny. Thanks, Max. Uh, no, no. <laughs> podcast was a good idea in theory. Yet, without insulting or neglecting the fact that you want people to understand your podcast is a privilege, let me offer some criticism. Firstly, you, Tom, in a lot of ways you're flexible with your humor. You, you don't mind talking about different subjects with contrib which contributes positively. However, you, Tom, you sit too passively in all these subjects, which prevents from exploring topics in depth at times. Agreed. <laughs> or either not making, not taking them seriously. If you want to improve them, I guess start paying a little more attention. Okay, sorry, Mackenzie. Max, I'm aware that a lot of people have insulted you and annoyed you over this podcast, blaming you for being the unfunny and the anchor of the podcast. In well, you know what? I've said this before, but I'm I'm playing it straight. I'm the straight man, and you know somebody's got to do it. Nobody wants to be the Squidward, but. I have to do it. I don't think you're squared. My honest sentiment, uh, you can be just as funny as your Tom, or maybe even funnier. Uh, only problem is the spectrum of subjects you may be willing to talk about is very limited. That cripples you. The unwillingly, unwillingness and critical nature of yours betrays you in the field of comedic integrity. If you want to be better, I suggest beginning by being more open and less intellectual and opinionated. It leads on to the... <laughs> I agree with her. It leads on to subjects many people honestly find boring, i.e. reading out your whole wiki page isn't comedic in the slightest and wouldn't lead on to any sort of interesting subjects. I can't just not be intellectual and opinionated because that is everything that I am. <sighs> you, might as, you, might as well, you might as well be asking me, hey, Max, why don't you just not exist? No. No, she's just yes. saying like, this is a girl that's writing us? Uh, yeah, I think so. Mackenzie Aubrey. That's a girl's name, right? Right. Yeah. That's a very smart email, and I agree with everything, but I doubt everything will change, because Max's opinion... Neither of us care enough. <laughs> yeah, because we both... I, I also don't think that people understand that we're kind of just doing this podcast for fun. Uh, yeah, pretty much. I don't, yeah, for now. Until I, until do you I, do you want to do this podcast for fun, or do you want to put on a seriously good show? Uh, I want a fun show. I don't know. It seems like your opinion of a good show is informative and interesting, while my uh, my opinion of a good show is funny and silly. I feel like the second, the very second that we try to get serious about the show and try to make it good, is the very second that this show is not fun to make anymore. So why even bother? Yeah. Okay, I can agree with that. Okay, good job. Uh, this is from Esponge. Okay, I hear I think a lot. It's fun, with Scott Pilgrim. So. <sighs> yeah, I think we should do more Scott Pilgrim stuff and more. Yeah. Ape Rape. We should. I said earlier we should just change this to the official Scott Pilgrim podcast. <laughs> yeah, I don't we'll never not. run out of content ever. And we already have like a like a fan base. We'll just put it on some Scott Pilgrim forums. And we got a million people liking us. That's right? right. I hear a lot of people in the podcast that a bunch of questions are all poop filled, except it's a donut with. Cr <sighs> <laughs> Next email. Next email. Next email. Donut metaphors. Ooh. What? 
Uh, this is an email from iTunes because I <clears throat> try. I want them to approve it. Okay, uh, hey guys, it's my birthday tomorrow. I'll be 22. I was wondering, will you guys do something special for my birthday? Anything that you find fitting? Uh, I'll no. get, I'll get you a shirt. Uh, Ivan Bragnitsky, have you ever wanted to? Really gonna give that person a shirt? No. Have you ever wanted to <laughs> well, do something really strange? I mean, like something so weird it put you in jail. Mm. If, if I did, I'd be in jail. I mean, so no. no. And you, Tom, have you ever wanted to just bitch slap Max? No, not really. No. no. It's Frederick Kerberibri. Dear Weisenheimers, I don't really... Do you want to try and saying that name again? No, I don't really Kerberibri? know. Kirk... Oh, man. Kirkby. 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 Can you spell it? K-R-K-E-B-Y. K-R-K-E-B-Y? Mm-hmm. Crickaby. No, Crick, <laughs> How can you have K R K? There's no vowel in there. <laughs> I don't know. Probably some Crick weird by. foreign -ner. I don't really Ooh. know how to tell you yeah, this. You're going to call somebody a weird foreigner? I don't oh, even God. need to point out the irony there. Oh, God. Oh, God. Another random email. I'm going to read through it, and then we'll just like be quiet for 10 minutes. Crickaby -er really... says. <laughs> Crickaby -er says. I don't really know what to tell you this. Purple hedgehogs want to destroy you. I think I realized it when I quoted Forrest Gump in your car and I saw you sit on the elephant in the corner. I'm sure you're frostbitten enough to understand how awful you are. I'm returning you the cut tonals to, to you, but I'll keep your neighbor's dog as a memory. You should also know that I hate your cooking and I'm off to lead a new life as a lemon. No people are just trolling us. I don't know. I don't know. Why can't people just take the show seriously? I don't know. It's so bad. <sighs> it's not. It's like they're trying to be like it's. Tr they're, it's like they're trying to be funny by making fun of that kind of thing. But, but it's, it's like, like yeah, it's just like right. It doesn't help. It's not funny when people do that, and it's not funny when people make fun of doing that. It's like I'm funny. I'm playing bad music, but it's still bad music. <laughs> right. Exactly. Max, I'll be your friend. Hook me up with that address. I'll play Scott Pilgrim with you, but I have to be Scott. Okay, first of all, Scott Pilgrim does not have online functionality, so you cannot play it online. No, he said hook me up with that address. What address? Your house address. Oh, you're not coming over to my house, buddy. I'm sorry. You just can't. It's not allowed. Let's Second of all, and, and even if that is the case, I only have one controller, so... Well, maybe he has a controller for himself. But I don't even need anyone to play it with now because now the game is easy because I buffed up my character. Now but I'm just still you like can... reason through all the bad guys. Me. Uh, what did you both think of Little Big Planet? Would you play the second game? I'd never played it. Why would you assume that either of us have played it? Neither of us have. So, so egg yeah, on your so face. Ivan, you got egg on your face. Got ketchup on your ears. This is some salami on your tongue. Uh, diet stuff from Land Poop. Hey, you're Tom. I have a question. Land poop. This is like the third time you laughed at that name, by the way. Hey, you're Tom. <laughs> I have a question about, about being on a diet. I really don't want to be as fat as Max Gilardi. That's mean. He's not fat. Uh, He's a very tall man. Why would so you could say you give that? me some suggestions on having a healthy, balanced diet? I don't know. I'm fucking fat. Jesus. Why would I know that? Well, God no, we, damn it. Uh, I would like to think that, yo, Tom, you would, ab you would abstain from answering this guy's uh, question because he was mean to me. So I know. I didn't answer him. I think it's very funny that you are a stock-up asshole. Keep it up, buddy. I don't know. Who me or called. him. Yeah, it's Max. The title is Max. Okay. Max, Ma Max why don't you just not exist? Mm. I'm a huge fan. Hey, Yodi. I'm a big fan of your work. Also, Max... <laughs> Also, Max Gilardi. Gilardi. And, well, I want to know how I can be funny, like your show, Wacky Game Jokes for Kids. It's amazing how you can completely do a satire of video games. And I'm really super duper jealous of your work. Please tell me how I could possibly be funny and original like you. It's amazing how you can have a plot completely irrelevant to video games and also have a minimal movement and cut to a scene with a wall and five minutes of dialogue and still be loved. My question is... 
is not how to be a better animator, just how I can literally know I don't have to try at all and still be loved. I really want to know how how you've raped the system and made people think you have no talent when you really do. What? That's I think that's a I don't know if that's a joke or not. If if it's not then it's a very backhanded compliment. <laughs> An incredibly backhanded compliment. And I'll just call you a meanie. And uh, I want to end the show now because I need a lot of I need to do a lot of editing on this one, <laughs> a lot of editing. Why? It's why? Why are you? Why do you even dignify that guy by reading his email? Why? Tell me why. Because I don't skim them through beforehand. So. <laughs> well, maybe you should. Jeez. Probably. Yeah. Ugh. So is this what this show is now? We're going to get insulted in our emails. We're going to get insulted <laughs> in the chat. Because if this is what it's going to be, then I really do want to quit. Yeah, this is not Jeez. fun. This is. I think I should just cancel the whole chat. Because this, we'll just... is, this is like just going to depress me. Yeah, you guys are mean. We're not doing emails anymore. I don't want to do emails anymore. We're just going to talk to each other, we're going to laugh, talk about bees, about monkeys, about driving planes. Just, this could be just like a Skype call between two dudes, and it's like, we're not even doing a show. Yeah. Yeah, two dudes Skyping, that should be the show name. Mm-hmm. 2D Skype. Mm -hmm. We try to give people a free show, and the only reaction that they can come up with is to insult us. I think that that's sad. I really do. I really do. Do you have anything to plug, Max? No, because they don't they don't even deserve to hear my plugs. So Yeah, you guys go. Yeah. <laughs> they don't deserve to hear your plugs either. We're oh. abstaining from plugs. Oh, they don't. For the last episode. Last episode because you guys are mean because Max was mean to me and because a lot of meanness was when I was mean to you, I was kidding. Come on. I know, I know, I know. When when you're mean to me, I don't call you mean because I know that it's know. You're, you're doing a roast. But you call doing me. a roast. You're saying you know, I'm mean, mean. <laughs> okay, guys, we're done. Have a nice day. Have a sweet month. Have a better tomorrow. Subscribe to our podcast. It's on my no DeviantArt. no plugs. I worked hard on that though. I coded that. Well, I helped someone code that. They can hear this, and they're probably already subscribed. <sighs> okay. Bye, guys. <laughs> okay, we're done. <laughs>